Did you know that more than 6 million people in the United States are currently living with Alzheimer's disease, and that number is expected to nearly triple by 2050? It's one of the most devastating health crises of our time, but what if I told you that some of the products we use every day might be contributing to this rise in cognitive decline? From the food we eat to the products we use, there are hidden dangers lurking in many of the things we consume. Some of these common substances, called neurotoxins, can have a serious impact on your brain health, leading to memory loss, confusion, and even conditions like Alzheimer's and dementia. In this video, we'll explore six neurotoxins that could be putting your brain at risk. And with more than 20% of the population consuming these substances daily, it's crucial to know what they are and how you can protect your mind. Stick around, because you'll want to hear this. 1. Aspartame Let's start with a name you've probably seen on countless labels, aspartame. This artificial sweetener is marketed as a calorie-free sugar substitute and is found in over 6,000 products, including diet sodas, sugar-free gum, protein shakes, and even medications like cough syrups. But is it as harmless as it seems? Aspartame is made up of three components, phenylalanine, aspartic acid, and methanol. While these may sound harmless, here's the catch. When aspartame is consumed, it breaks down in your body, releasing methanol. Methanol can convert into formaldehyde, a toxic substance linked to brain damage and memory loss. Studies suggest that aspartame might act as an excitotoxin. This means it can overstimulate neurons to the point of damage or death. For people who consume aspartame regularly, this could lead to symptoms like brain fog, headaches, and even long-term neurodegenerative effects. Some researchers have also raised concerns about aspartame's potential role in Alzheimer's disease. Long-term consumption has been associated with increased oxidative stress and inflammation in the brain, two major factors in cognitive decline. While the debate around aspartame continues, the safest approach is to limit your intake. Opt for natural sweeteners like stevia or monk fruit if you're looking for a healthier alternative. 2. Diacetyl Next, we have diacetyl. This chemical might not sound familiar, but chances are, you've consumed it before. Diacetyl is commonly used to create that irresistible buttery flavor in microwave popcorn, baked goods, and even some flavored coffee. But behind the delicious aroma lies a potential risk to your brain health. Diacetyl can cross the blood-brain barrier, a protective shield designed to keep harmful substances out of the brain. Once inside, it can cause oxidative stress and inflammation, two key processes that are strongly linked to neurodegenerative diseases like Alzheimer's. It doesn't stop there. For those exposed to diacetyl in large amounts, like factory workers in popcorn production, the risks are even higher. Prolonged inhalation has been associated with a condition called popcorn lung, a severe respiratory illness. While this primarily affects workers, the potential long-term effects on regular consumers of diacetyl-containing products are still being studied. Research also suggests that diacetyl may contribute to the buildup of beta-amyloid plaques in the brain. These plaques are one of the hallmark signs of Alzheimer's disease. The more diacetyl you're exposed to, the higher the chance of these harmful proteins interfering with your brain's normal functions. So, what can you do to avoid diacetyl? Skip the microwave popcorn and opt for air-popped kernels instead. Choose fresh, whole foods over processed ones with artificial flavors. 3. Mercury Let's talk about mercury. This heavy metal is naturally occurring, but thanks to industrial pollution, it has become a major concern for human health. Mercury can find its way into our food, water, and even the air we breathe. Unfortunately, it's not just a minor nuisance, mercury poses a significant risk to your brain. Methylmercury, a toxic form of mercury, accumulates in fish, especially large predatory species like tuna, swordfish, and king mackerel. When consumed, methylmercury can enter the bloodstream and cross the blood-brain barrier. Once in the brain, it disrupts normal cellular processes, 
leading to oxidative stress and inflammation. Over time, mercury exposure can harm your nervous system, causing symptoms like memory loss, brain fog, and difficulty concentrating. It doesn't stop there, long-term exposure has been linked to neurodegenerative diseases like Alzheimer's and dementia. Research shows that mercury can accelerate the buildup of beta-amyloid plaques, one of the hallmarks of Alzheimer's disease. Another source of mercury exposure is dental amalgam fillings. These fillings release small amounts of mercury vapor, which can be absorbed into your body over time. While most experts consider this exposure minimal, it's worth discussing alternatives with your dentist if you're concerned. So how can you reduce your mercury exposure? Limit your intake of high mercury fish and opt for safer alternatives like salmon or sardines. If you live in an area with mercury pollution, consider investing in a good water filter. Small changes can have a big impact on your brain health. 4. Aluminum Next on the list is aluminum, a metal that's almost impossible to avoid. It's in our cookware, foil, deodorants, food packaging, and even some processed foods. While aluminum is convenient, there's growing concern about its potential impact on brain health particularly its link to Alzheimer's disease. Here's why aluminum is concerning. It can accumulate in the body over time, especially if you're exposed to it regularly. Once it enters your bloodstream, aluminum can cross the blood-brain barrier. In the brain, it has been shown to disrupt neural processes, leading to oxidative stress and inflammation, two key factors in cognitive decline. Some studies suggest a connection between aluminum exposure and the buildup of beta amyloid plaques, one of the primary markers of Alzheimer's disease. While this link is still being debated, it's clear that minimizing aluminum exposure is a wise precaution. One major source of exposure is cookware. Aluminum pots and pans can leach small amounts of the metal into food, especially when cooking acidic dishes like tomato sauce. Another source is antiperspirants, many of which contain aluminum compounds. Processed foods, especially baked goods, can also contain aluminum-based additives. Reducing aluminum exposure is easier than you might think. Switch to stainless steel or cast iron cookware, use aluminum-free deodorants, and store your food in glass or stainless steel containers instead of foil. When buying processed foods, Check the label for ingredients like sodium aluminum phosphate. 5. Fluoride Fluoride, a name we've been told to associate with strong teeth. It's added to toothpaste, mouthwash, and even public water supplies in many parts of the world. But while fluoride has undeniable dental benefits, growing evidence suggests that excessive exposure could have a darker side, especially for your brain. Fluoride can cross the blood-brain barrier and accumulate in brain tissue over time. Research has linked chronic fluoride exposure to oxidative stress and neuroinflammation, both of which are major contributors to cognitive decline and neurodegenerative diseases like Alzheimer's. One of the most concerning studies found that high fluoride levels in drinking water were associated with lower IQ scores in children. While the doses required to cause noticeable harm are still debated, Long-term exposure to fluoride may pose risks to brain health, especially in vulnerable populations. In addition to drinking water, fluoride exposure comes from dental products like toothpaste and mouthwash. While these are generally safe when used as directed, swallowing toothpaste or using excessive amounts can lead to overexposure. So how can you minimize fluoride exposure while still protecting your teeth? If you live in an area with fluoridated water, consider installing a reverse osmosis filter to remove excess fluoride. Opt for non-fluoridated toothpaste, especially for young children, and avoid swallowing dental products. 6. Monosodium Glutamate, MSG Who doesn't love a meal bursting with flavor? One common ingredient behind that mouth-watering taste is monosodium glutamate, or MSG, found in fast food, packaged snacks, and restaurant dishes, MSG is a flavor enhancer that keeps you coming back for more. But did you know it might also harm your brain? 
MSG works by stimulating taste buds to amplify the savory, umami flavor in foods. But here's the issue, MSG contains glutamate, a compound that acts as a neurotransmitter in the brain. While glutamate is naturally present in your body, consuming too much MSG can overstimulate brain cells, a phenomenon known as excitotoxicity. Excitotoxicity can damage or kill neurons, leading to symptoms like headaches, brain fog, and fatigue. Over time, chronic overconsumption of MSG has been linked to oxidative stress and inflammation in the brain, which are key contributors to neurodegenerative diseases like Alzheimer's and dementia. MSG often hides under different names, like hydrolyzed protein, autolyzed yeast extract, or natural flavors. This makes it tricky to avoid unless you carefully read labels. It's especially prevalent in instant noodles, frozen meals, and savory snacks. The good news? You can enhance flavor without relying on MSG, opt for natural alternatives like herbs, spices, and homemade broths. Cooking fresh, whole foods ensures you're in control of what goes into your meals. MSG may add flavor but it's not worth the potential risk to your brain health. Choosing natural, MSG-free options is a small change with big benefits for your body and mind. Your brain is your most valuable asset, and protecting it starts with awareness. By minimizing exposure to these six neurotoxins, you're taking an important step toward long-term brain health. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe for more tips, and share this with someone who could benefit. See you next time.